M0FXB, just a quick look at win for ICOM Suite for ICOM radios. So I'll put the link in the description. And here it is. Um, you've got all the instructions. To download it, just click here. You'll get the XE and run that. And um, regarding the setup, yeah, it's quite straightforward, really. Once you fire it up, I'll show you what it looks like when it's working. Just uh, minimize this a second. So it looks like this. You've got full control of the radio. You've got an audio spectrum scope running here. And there's the waterfall. Now the activity on my 40, 40 uh, meters is a bit rubbish. But look, we've got full control there. I'm turning the dial on the, on the actual radio. But everything is on the PC. And... Yeah, the USB cable has a ferrite ring on to prevent RFI. I've even selected my microphone that I'm holding right now. Don't have to use the microphone that's in the in the radio, and that seems to work. So you've got tuner here, tune. There you are, it's tuning in the background. Attenuator RX, and then let's have a look here. You've got your NR here, noise reduction, which works fine. I can hear that in the background and other similar, you know, selections. So there you are, TX here, which works. Give it a go. RF power is down to zero, but look, we can go up and I'll just check on the radio if that's the same. Yeah, 74, same on the radio. So it's all working and mic gain and... AF gain, RF gain here, like so. All working very good. The scope looks fine, you know, for, yeah, it looks fine, the scope. I'm sure we can just select things and it will change frequency. Yes, I can see on the radio that it is. Or we can go up and down here. Oops, that's a funny frequency, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So, RF power, signal meter, usual S meter here. There must be some sort of re voice record as well. And then the RATXIT. And I'm sure there's lots more to this. So, it, it, there is a charge for this. Um, so, you get a 30-day free trial. So, you might as well try that out. Not sure what the charge is. Um... But there is a charge, and then but the setup was simple. And I see if I can find the settings menu um, again. I'll just uh, let me just have a look. See if I can find the settings menu. Where's it gone? Probably have to disconnect to look at that. Click, click, click. Right, move my camera in the way. So, uh, file, tools, settings. There you are, settings. And here's my, you just select the model. You do have to make sure that the rate, if you're on the 7300, that you've set the board rate at 11520. Uh, let's have a look what else. There, that came up by default, the 94. That's important, I would say. And then you just click connect. As a setting in the actual radio, you have to make sure. When you select connect, and it does connect, select save here. There's a few other bits you can do for other items. Select save here. Um, and let's just have a look at the, click the manual. And it does give you quite, you know, quite good instructions. I would say definitely read this first. If you're familiar with this kind of interaction, it won't be a problem for you. So go down, but the main one with the, you know, with the 7300 is the CIV settings. You go into here, see so set, select set, then connect to CIV. Then you select unlink from remote, and and you same again, set connect to CIV, and you select USB board rate as 115200. Um, and it says here, not necessarily for the 705. I'm on the 7300. So have a good read of this. I'll put a link in for this as well in the description. Uh, and uh, yeah, tell me what you think. And.
if it's if you think it's worth paying for. Um, let's just click this. This is what it's going to look like when you when you're done. So seven three. All the links will be in the description. All the best.